Welcome, everybody. I'm going to start the meeting while we have our 35 or 36 or 37. Uh, we have a relatively few number of articles, so we will we'll get started. I have examined the warrant. It is in order. Uh, there is a quorum present. Um, just a brief review of the rules. If anyone wishes to speak, if they can just come up to the center microphone and speak into it. Uh, just if you can state your name and your street address, we'd appreciate it. So, um, Just to confirm, everyone who's seated is a voter in the town. If not, seats over on the, the right-hand side. So, um, If the front table could just briefly introduce themselves. Lisa Mead, Town Council. Carolyn Ness, Select Board. Kip Camosa, Select Board. Trevor McDaniel, Select Board. Wendy Foxman, Town Administrator. And I'm Dan Graves, the Town Moderator. Uh, I have two articles. I move that the reading of all articles be waived and that prior to the reading of motion under the article, the moderator briefly summarize the content of the article to be considered and further that unless objection is raised, the reading of detailed motions be waived where the article is printed, can, in the opinion of the moderator, be incorporated by reference in any motion presented. Second. Uh, this just lets us summarize the articles and move through them quickly. Uh, any discussion or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, I move that the following people be allowed to address the audience during the town meeting. Attorney Lisa Mead, Brenda Hill, town accountant, Wendy Foxman, town administrator. Second? Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, Mr. McDaniel, Article 1. I move the town transfer from free cash the sum of $10,143 to the Senior Center Expense Account to fund Deerfield's share of FY19 operations of the South County Senior Center. A second on that? Yes. So, you could briefly summarize? Sure. Uh, this amount will pay for Deerfield's share of unanticipated cost of the regional Senior Center. The towns of Waitley and Sunderland have appropriate additional funds for their shares of these costs. Does the Finance Committee discuss this? We, we recommend it. Thank you. Any questions or discussions? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Article 2, Mr. Camosa. I move the town transfer from free cash the sum of $30,000 to the capital line item originally entitled Church Feasibility Study and rename it Town Buildings Assessment to fund an assessment of town buildings. Second. Brief explanation, Mr. Kamosa. The Select Board and the Capital Improvement Planning Committee have determined this project is critical for long-range program and capital project planning and to assist the newly formed Town Buildings Advisory Committee in its deliberation. These funds will be added to the $25,000 appropriated for the study of the Congregational Church donated to the Town this past year. The Finance Committee have a recommendation? We we did not have the motion, uh, so there, we were not anticipating, we anticipated that $30,000 is going to be moved into the same fund. But we don't know whether that has an impact on the uh, feasibility study on the church or not. So we don't have a recommendation. Capital Improvement Committee? Capital Improvement Committee uh, reviewed this and we could not recommend only because it did not ask for a specific item. We support the 30000 uh, as a committee as long as it goes into uh, the assessment of all town buildings. We do not want this to be added to just uh, the $25,000 for the church for just to be spent on one single building as far as the church. So the committee supports it as far as asset for all town buildings assessment. Anybody from the select board wish to comment on that or do you comment? Yes. So the idea was in, in the spring you were all good enough to um, to appropriate twenty five thousand dollars in anticipation of us getting the church and to decide what we were going to do with that building. Um, in, in kind of mulling that over this year, we've realized that um, in, in talking with the Capital Planning Committee and looking at large expenditures that we have coming up over the next few years, we felt it was a good idea to not just look at that one building in, a, in um, isolation and to, um, to start to begin to put our capital needs or get a good clarification of our capital needs of our town buildings. Um, you know, we'll, 
we'll look at the town highway garage. That's fairly new. We, we probably, that would be last on our list. This money may not get to everything, but we thought it was important to start looking at that. Our senior center, which we have done a, a study in 2015 that needs to be updated a bit on the current senior center, elementary school, just had, you know, we, we just won a, a Green Communities grant for that. So we're, we're hoping, um, you know, we can start to look at all these buildings get a full list, lay this out in a five-year plan or longer, um, to start, start to figure out what our expenses are on, on these specific items. And we, we thought 25 wasn't enough to do that. We're just looking for a way to kind of grow, grow that a little bit so we can start capitalizing and, and get more of our products, projects looked at. I'm happy to take any questions if anyone has on it. What does the money pay for? It, yeah, would pay for an assessment. So you would hire uh, an architect yeah. firm or an engineering firm to come in. Sunderland uh, just went through this specific task, and they, they looked at all of their town-owned buildings, and I'm not sure the exact cost of that. I don't think ours would be as large of a study, but um, so it would be just a, they would come through, they would look at a building and say, okay, in 40 years you're going to need a new roof, or right now your boiler is really bad, and you're going to need that in the next five years, that kind of item. So we end up with actionable items and a timeline. Lily, Lee, you know what? People can't hear you um, that are watching this. I'm sorry. Can you just use the mic? If you can just introduce yourself and your street address. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Lily Dwight. Is this on? Um, it is. It is on there. Well, okay, so cool. Lily Dwight, 45 South Mill River Road. And so what I'm asking is, do we end up with a plan with a list of the aging items and like their end of life? Do we end up with end of life we planning? Can't hear and her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if you can direct your comments to the moderator, Mr. Peter. Yeah, it does trying. sound very soft. Um, Mr. McDaniel, like your mic seems I'm to be I'm asking cut what, what are the deliverables? Oh, there we go. Here we go. Thank you, Evcat. Lily, um, thank so, you very much. I, so, I just want to say something about the microphones. I understand when one is in use, particularly these two your mic and your mic, the, the crowd mic, um, they, it takes a, a minute for them to adjust to switch from one to the other. So that will happen. Do you mind coming up, Mr. Upton? Or, no, appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, I, I just don't, I don't want my comments to be misconstrued here. Uh, the support we do as a capital improvement committee support this because it will help the town uh, as far as a long-term plan the five-year plan plus, and we have some major uh, expenses coming down the pipeline here. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of them, and we really need to uh, try to get a handle on this and develop Priority. a really decent uh, long-term plan for the town. I think it's, uh, I hate to spend money just like everybody else, but I think this time this would be a good investment for the town to give us a good solid footing on where we're going to head. Thank you. Mr. Thank you. did you want to address the earlier comment? Or? Yes, I, mean, I think really just uh, the idea is we would have actual, the, the idea is to kind of set our priorities. Uh, we have sewer we're working on, um, you know, hopefully getting that together to, to, to deal with. We have, um, I know that Frontier is looking at a capital improvement project and, and developing a capital improvement plan and all of that. Well, um, they're looking to take that before uh, town meeting, you know, later this year, and just a lot of projects coming along. So we will have actionable. Uh, it, it'll let us see like this building is most in need of of um, of work, and let us prioritize. So I think we will have some actionable. And, and it's also to um, not surprise us. I mean, um, we had to replace the police roof or repair the police roof, and uh, you know we weren't really aware of that until just a few months ago. So. Um, that's the kind of thing that we were hoping to avoid. We need to plan these things and not, re you know, always be reactive. So this is, was part of this is to have someone professional look at all, all the buildings and identify all the things that need to be done, as well as an, a need space kind of thing as well. Mm -hmm. Mr. St. Peter, can you sneak up to the microphone? We appreciate it. Bruce St. Peter's, Bruce St. Peter's, Rob's Way. Um, I'd like to amend the motion. Uh, I move to amend the motion for Article 2 as presented to read as follows. 
to see if the town transfer from free cash the sum of $30,000 to a new capital line item entitled Town Buildings Assessment to, find an ass to fund an assessment of town buildings. Sorry. Mr. St. Peter, do you have the motion in writing? Yes, I do. I have a copy of it. Would you like to... Uh, <clears throat> Would you like to briefly explain, explain the content of your amendment? Yes, I would. Uh, the Capital Improvement Planning Committee has determined this project is critical for long-range program and capital planning, as uh, Mr. Upton just said, and to assist newly formed Town Buildings Advisory Committee in its deliberation. The existing capital line should remain a separate capital line item for a study of the Congregational Church as appropriated. The Finance Committee on October 25th after much discussion with the town administrator and town accountant, voted 6-0-0 to approve Article 2 warrant language to transfer the sum of free, to transfer from free cash a sum of $30,000 for the town building study. The draft minutes from the Finance Committee meeting read, in quotes, discussion, discussion on what would be included, period. These funds should have their own account uh, town administrator needs to revise articles motion to not include $25,000 uh, for church feasibility study. The main reason why these two items need separate capital line items is that the projects have different scopes. The occupied town buildings need to be assessed as their capital improvement over the next 20 years and the congregational church evaluated as an existing structural conditions, health and safety issues, and what needs to be improved to bring it to up to state and local code requirements based on assembly use, its, uh, its past use. In summary, one group of assets needs to be evaluated to preserve the asset, and the other asset, the church, needs to, needs to be evaluated, evaluate the existing conditions of the asset and what improvements are needed to be able to use it. Separate projects with separate capital line items. You know, seems to be a lot of some of these items uh, I know somebody says, has said things like the highway garage don't need don't need much and uh, uh, the elementary school we just put a, a, a roof on uh, this is by all means do I I do support the thirty thousand dollars but there is stuff even in the highway garage it's already several years old you have a several hundred thousand dollar generator out there that needs to be evaluated you have a uh, uh, You've already used up 20% of the lifespan of the roof. So there is a lot of other things, even though there has been improvements in the near future, there are still things that need to be evaluated. And this was the initial um, uh, request or thoughts that, of the cost to do those buildings without the church. And there had been a previous uh, appropriation for the church. That is one of the reasons why the Finance Committee did not make a recommendation. As Mr. Olmsted uh, said, we did not have the final, uh, uh, final motion, and uh, we as a committee had assumed the final motion would exclude the church. And Mr. St. Peter, so just to summarize, so essentially you're just, you, you'd like to exclude the church from the appropriation yes, we're discussing tonight? Yes, but support the appropriation. At this point, there's been an emotion, a motion to amend that's been seconded, so we're only deliberating on the motion that Mr. St. Peter's has made. So if there's any questions of Mr. St. Peter's or of the board regarding that. Well, may, may I make a comment? Yes. Or ask, ask a question? Um, so my concern is that $30,000 is not enough to do what, what we're going to want to do. Uh, and I agree with you. They are kind of separate items, but they, they do kind of fall together. And uh, by separating them out so specifically, you can only spend 25 on the church and you can only spend 30 on, you know, if we're only doing 25 on one building, uh, $30,000 is not going to get you very far in the rest of the town. So my thought was to join these two and, and take this as far as we could get it. The most important items would be the church, the senior center, this building here. And I agree, I agree with you wholeheartedly that the, the, um, that the town highway garage and the school do need um, they do need to fall on that capital plan, five-year plan, but um, they're a, a bit lower on the list of priority if you only have a certain amount of money. I, I take a motion to, to, to add uh, another 25000 to your motion, but um, I, I don't know how much you can accomplish with thirty compared to just twenty-five at the church. But I'm, uh, I'm listening. I'll listen. The, uh, it, was, it was an amount that had, uh, uh, based on 
some work that Sunderland had done uh, that it would be a pretty good start to evaluate the existing buildings. As I said, the church needs a structural evaluation before it even becomes a useful building. Mm -hmm. And that's why that was a separate line item. That's why the finance, I believe, the, I am a member of finance, I believe the discussion was based on the, and, and passed on the assumption that the church would be excluded from this appropriation and this would be a separate line item. Okay. You can sneak up to the microphone. Mr. St. Peter's, if you don't mind just staying close, I appreciate it. Um, Bruce Hunter, 103 San Gully Road. I fully support the motion as amended. The two projects are very specific in, in their um, understanding. One is going to be an assessment of town buildings that are currently used by the town. The other is a feasibility study on what is wrong with the current building so we can determine whether we can occupy it. Then continue to whether what can be used, how the building can be used, and um, eventually um, redesign that building or determine that portions of it need to be uh, removed. So we're leaving the dollar values very specific to the, their potential uses is a better means of um, allotting the money. I agree 30,000 might not be enough, but we can always do it in phases. And I'm speaking um, as a newly uh, inducted member of the building committee. Any other comments or questions on the amendment? So at this point, we would be voting to amend the underlying motion, not to actually vote on the motion, but just on, on the amendment. So all those in favor of the motion to amend? Opposed? Uh, the motion to amend carries. So now we would be voting on the motion as amended. Any discussion on the motion as amended by Mr. St. Peter's motion? All those in favor of the motion? Opposed? The motion carries as amended. Thank you. Thank you. Article 3, Mr. Camosa. I move the town transfer from free cash the sum of $22,000 to the landfill monitoring account to fund additional landfill monitoring and costs related to regulatory requirements. Second. Um, second. Second. Brief explanation, Mr. Camosa. In response to the monitoring and testing results at the town's closed landfill, the Department of Environmental Protection is requiring additional well installation and other improvements. The Finance Committee discuss this? We did. We, we agreed with it. We are. We are. Capital improvement, did you? No, we did no. not take this under review. Any questions or discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Opposed? The motion carries unanimously. Article 4, Ms. Ness. I move the town vote to amend the general bylaws of the town of Deerfield by deleting Article 6 Capital Improvement Plan Committee in its entirety and in its place insert the language and deletions as shown in the town meeting handout provided to all citizens this evening. For a second. second. Thank you. I believe there is an amendment. Uh, not at this time. Oh. Can you just briefly summarize the, can you, is it possible to briefly summarize the <laughs> Okay. Amendment? I'm sorry. I, uh, there was some meeting earlier and I was confused. Can you briefly summarize the yes. as you've made? Yes. Thank you. Um, the town, the Capital Improvement Committee um, had two problems, the immediate problems that needed to be addressed. The first was the postings um, that were required in the newspaper that seemed to be a real hindrance to um, us proceeding on a regular basis. And also um, the um, it, it, uh, anything in a 
um, that came up during the year <coughs> after the December 1st deadline for submittals to the Capital Improvement Committee, whether they were emergency or just a course of business operations. So the committee started to work together in the summer, and we addressed those two articles um, or those two problems in a revision of the article, and then we started rewriting the whole article all summer. But then um, Barbara had um, uh, used uh, general code um, to c codify our bylaws, and so we then stepped back and in October voted to just amend the two original problems that we're addressing tonight. Um, and then we will move forward on the other issues of, um, at a later town meeting. Thank you. Yeah, uh, sorry. So hopefully everyone has the handout. The, the changes are not particularly substantial, uh, but it does require a substantial edit in order to do it. So instead of reading all of the changes, we've directed you back to the handout. Are there any questions or discussion on the motion? Yes. Hi, Lily Dwight, 45 South Mill River Road, South Deerfield. Hopefully the mic will arrive. If working. you can speak loudly, there are some yeah. questions. Okay, so one of the things uh, you mentioned is that there's a problem with publishing the information. That seems to be a challenge in to the, the newspaper. Committee. In the newspaper. In the newspaper. But I don't see anything in this amendment about getting the information to the public, and I find that deeply distressing. And, and actually, that's what the amendment uh, was for. I guess, There's an amendment I guess. coming yes. to address okay. that. All right, never mind. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Good eye. <laughs> Seems like we're calling for your amendment, Mr. Yes. St. Peter, so you can come forward. This, this was a rectified. Anticipated. It will be in a moment. <laughs> uh, Bruce A. Peters, uh, Rob's Way, South Deerfield. Uh, I would move that we add at the end of the first paragraph of section 10-17 as proposed the following language. The select board shall post on the town website and on the Deerfield cable access channel as to where copies of the capital improvements plan are available. Such posting shall not be less than seven days prior to any town meeting. Second. Second. Yes. And again, that would be added at the last sentence of the first new paragraph of 10 17. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, at the uh, yes. end of the first paragraph of section 10, 10 17 is proposed. And although it's somewhat self, ex no. self explaining, can you just briefly summarize what you're attempting to accomplish? By deleting. By deleting this section in its entirety as proposed, the public would not have any readily available knowledge about the capital plan or expenditures until they were at the town meeting, at which time they would have very little time to understand or consider the plan. And that was not the intent of the original motion. Any questions on the amendment to the motion? The, the only thing I would add to that, Bruce, is, if we could, is, is the bulletin board and the, obviously a town hall. That would be friendly amendment. I don't, I don't, do I have to make a motion for that? Um, we can make a friendly amendment if it's friendly okay amendment. with Mr. St. Peter's. That would be appropriate. Thank you. Very acceptable. So after, and the, so your, your new wording that the select board shall post on the town website and on the Deerfield Cable Access Channel and the town bulletin, is that correct? That's correct. Any questions on the amendment as amended? All those in favor of amending the motion? Opposed? So the amendment has now passed unanimously, so now we must vote on the underlying motion as amended. So all those in favor of the motion as amended? Opposed? That motion carries. No. Article 5, Mr. McDaniel. So I, I move the town vote to increase the membership of the Conservation Commission from three to five members and the new members being appointed for two and three years respectively and thereafter for a term of three years. 
Second. Brief explanation. So this vote corre uh, corrects an action um, the town took in 1985 by adding two members to the three-member conservation commission without town meeting approval, so far as we could find. <laughs> so. Any questions or discussion? All those in favor of the motion as amended, uh, the underlying motion? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. And with that, we hereby dissolve the special town meeting. I do thank all of you for coming. We just made a quorum and we appreciate everybody. Thank you. Thank you so Have much for coming out. Thank you, really everyone, for making it. It was really, really appreciated. <laughs>